The Lord be with you. Welcome to worship on this Christmas day. I invite you to join me in the opening sentences. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Behold, I bring you good news of great joy, for to you is born in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Lord be with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. O Lord our God, we give you thanks for the wonder and love you offer us through the gift of our baptism. Your word made flesh among us, a child and savior born to us, good news of great joy for all. By the power of your Holy Spirit, poured out upon us in baptism, let us be born anew from above so that we may give glory to you and live as your beloved children. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. I invite you to join me now as we say together the Canticle of Mary. The word was made flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For you, Lord, have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who hear you, from generation to generation. The word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. Alleluia. You have shown strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. The word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we have beheld his glory. Alleluia. You have come to the aid of your servant Israel to remember the promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. The word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. Alleluia. The scripture reading now comes from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 2, verses 8 through 20. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, 
keeping watch over their flocks by night. Then an angel of the Lord appeared before them, and the glory of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find the child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom God favors. When the angel had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us now pause for a few moments to reflect on this reading in silence.
mindful of those on our prayer list and concerns that we have within our hearts, let us go to God together now in prayer. Please pray with me. With wonder and thanksgiving for Christ's coming into the world, we pray for the church and the life of the earth and the whole human family. Especially today, we thank you for the beauty of your creation. We thank you for the new creation in Christ and all gifts of healing and forgiveness. We thank you for the sustaining love of family and friends. We thank you for the fellowship of faith in your church. We thank you for the joy and peace of this day of gladness. Merciful God, renew this weary world, heal the hurts of all your children, and bring about your peace for all in Christ Jesus, the living word. Especially today, we pray for those who govern nations of the world. We pray for the people in countries ravaged by strife or warfare. We pray for all who work for peace and international harmony. We pray for all who strive to save the earth from destruction. We pray for all people, especially the people of China, who are struggling with the pandemic and who are grieving the loss of loved ones. And we pray for frontline medical workers. We pray for the Church of Jesus Christ in every land. Ever loving and unseen God, the coming of your light into the world has brightened weary hearts with peace. Teach us to proclaim the birth of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And now in the confidence of the children of God, let us pray together as our Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Our hymn now is number 119, Hark the Herald Angels Sing.
let us arise and shine, for our light has come. The glory of the Lord has risen upon us. Amen. Bless the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Go now in peace to love and serve the Lord in all that you do. Amen.